Hello everyone, welcome in to the Hobart Chargers YouTube channel, Chargers TV, and ongoing coverage of the 2023 Summer League here at the Warren Basketball Stadium. Of course, light on numbers early, Ronnie, with our first game, you having to referee me, pencil oh, in yeah. here oh, for yeah. game oh, number two. Feel. And a massive shout out to Jacob, who's done a tremendous effort on the camera to keep everything running and up to date there. So big well done to him. For that one, our first game there, Ronnie, it was the Gladiators yeah. getting a nice win there over the Titans. Yeah, it opened up in the fourth quarter. You know, when you've got the likes of Terry Musunda, uh, I thought Xavier Clark had a good game as well too. And, it, you know, Sack White being so dominant like he has been. Um, it was really close throughout the first three quarters. It was, uh, it was actually a really good game to referee, JB. And then, yeah, just a cons more consistent shooting and, and Terry controlling that ball and controlling the play as we know. You know, really set up a, a good win there for for his for his side. So now good fun. I'm a little bit puffed, but um, yes, no, that's it, why we've got you on specials and <laughs> scoreboard for the day. That's that's. Uh, but it was not actually. It was nice to get out. It was nice to get out there and have a bit of a run with the lads. So no, good fun. Very good. But Crumley Jordan Cooper here for our second game. It will be Swisher versus Utahs. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the updated graphics for all teams here as they actually check with broadcast to get this one underway. The, Jordan the, Cooper ball yep. in the air. And we're hustling down low. And yes, that will be uh, Swisher basketball to start this one. Yes, absolutely. Are the commission in the building? One of the commissioners. He'd, he'd like to refer. He, he told me pre-game, JB, before the, before his game. The com, the commish. Nice. <laughs> so there you go, JB. Eulamania it is. Eula. <laughs> yes, we still self throw, self appointing titles yeah. round here. The <laughs> commish. The commish. Self appointing titles. <laughs> There's going to be more Eulamania running wild now. He's made that comment. Speaking of running wild, that's your Stratchman of the basket opening points here of this one here for you, Taz. Yeah, uh, that's the right one. Yep, other one, that was Swisher, that's Swisher. Oh no, yeah, it is yeah. right, Swisher scored, Utah's yeah, yeah. on the defence. My apologies there, no doubt Jordan will be looking for Utah's <laughs> later on. Walker for the response, couldn't get that to go. Rebound by Collins, Bruton above the break. Wants to take it through, front eye, no good. Stratsmo just tunnelled a little bit on that rebound there as he spins around looking for a hand up. I was going to say... That one on Carlson. Uh, speaking of Bruno, I spoke with Cal Bruton over the, over the weekend, Jamie. Sorry and, to uh, hear that, Cal. That conversation probably <laughs> wrapped up before Ronnie hit the floor. <laughs> he's loving our comms, you, JB. Oh, so he, good. he sends his uh, well wishes. And he's down here first weekend of December as well, too, JB. He's, he's told us. So no, very good. We'll, uh, yes, of course, the JJ's playing Adelaide, too, that weekend. So we'll yes. uh, see the great man there. Yes, a few of us looking to... Uh, Hit the golf course there that particular weekend, Ronnie. Oh, yes, of course, yes. 4 no start so far here for Swisher as they look to push through. Of course, last week, both of these sides trying to fight through, Ronnie, as uh, mm -hmm. Swisher got the win thanks to Ollie. And then there was the shooting of Alex Beswick on Friday night. Sensational as well yeah, probably one for of, Utah's. I was going to say, one of the best shooting performances we've seen throughout this, uh, this uh, short season, JB. He certainly put on a show, uh, which was great to see. David Stern up there with the kids. I mean, the commission. Yes. I mean, Yulamania. <laughs> Absolutely. Griffiths. In his own Utah shorts there, just the dark shorts there for both sides here. I can see it's Harry ca with his Utah shorts. It's casual Tuesday, JB. Very casual Tuesday indeed as Walker goes on the drive. Turning, spivoting. Turning, spinning, pivoting. One of the two either way. Didn't get the points as Carlson down the lane. And he's got a dirty moustache up as Utahs get their first points mm, for the evening. Yes, good, good old Movember. Yes, Movember running wild. Not so much on my face. It's getting there. Started last September. <laughs> Stewart goes to pull up there. Can't get anything to go. Ferguson, Hargrave, corner, three. Can't get that to go. Carlson now with the ball. Eight minutes to go here. First turn. Smith, Ferguson, and Ferguson on the bench. As Bruton goes to thread the needle, just couldn't get that one to go. As Stratzma on the drive. Dribbles into the corner to get himself out of trouble. Doesn't do anything there. It's Hargrave to Griffiths, of course, Expecting to see some of these players later on in the week, Ronnie, as we will probably see a few of them Saturday. Harry Griffiths gets that one to go. Yeah, no, great take there by Harry. And of course, Harry doing a bit more coach over the weekend, JB. It'll go three fours at Dodgers Fair Primary. Jeez, he's everywhere on the court there, poor old Harry. I mean, he looks young enough to compete in the 3 4 team. Coaching <laughs> probably best suited there. I'd be like the I'm 12 out of bench warmers. Mm. Walker on the drive, wants to thread the pass, does. Bruton. Has one second to go. Gets it up. That'll be nearly a violation. Hits the backboard. Bruton wanting contact as Ferguson returns all the way. So all of a sudden, that's a six-point swing. Notice that uh, 
Big Ollie looked to be warming up, Ronnie, but I can't see him anywhere. He's on the bench, JB. Oh, he is. He's blending in very well with the young fellas down there. Yes, he is. And Anthony Stewart, who has buzzed the haircut and looking as yes. senior as ever. 5-8 scoreline. Ferguson couldn't get that to go. Rebound by Hargrave. And it just seems to be a lack of effort there on the glass right now for you, Taz, Ronnie. Yeah, it certainly is. They really need to be more, uh, you know, uh, more uh, controlled and more kind of aggressive at the board. So they need to send a few down there, Chobo. Of course, our broadcast brought to you today by Apostle. And we will get the uh, yes, rundown on that at our very first time out. Of course, BJ Radcliffe and family supporting a great local business. And that's a great local shot by Harry Griffiths. Shot that from... Uh, well over in Sorrell. We know we know Harry can light it up, JB. So that, this is a nice surprise here. Nice work there is Bruton. Stop, pop, hand off. Collins, stop, pop. Couldn't get that to drop. Hargrave was just out of bounds originally. One of the travel calls. Subs now. Fletcher Rose and Alex Bestwick in. Of course, Alex with six threes in the first half and had Mark Nash up and about on the bench as well last week, or last Friday, and Mark, very, very um, positive in his shooting display at the end of the game. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, any time you can get one of, your, one of your other guys who hasn't really stepped up as yet, and, you know, Alex Bestwick just showed us Ferguson gets a two there, JB. It just goes to show that, you know, anyone can step up at any given time. So it's really good to see Alex take that role. Ten-point margin as Ferguson scores and the turnover immediately. And Mark Nash wanting his team to step up here. Loving the post-game fit there of Jalen Howard too with the hoodie, the shorts over the trackies. Sensational look uh, there he, on the he bench. Was very, he, was very, he was nice and casual on the floor too, JB. Had a very nice game, Ronnie, or just yes. sauntering his way through. Oh, sauntering his way through. Is Mark Nash it. calls a timeout. Isaac Collins not happy. 18-5, our scoreline here. Caught a time, Ronnie, as we mentioned. Yes, Broadcast JB. today. Brought to you by Apostle. Of course, supported here by BJ Radcliffe. BJ Radcliffe, a local bloke with many years' experience in high-level basketball. He's a former Hobart Charger, of course, and now a current summer roster player for the Titans and the owner of Apostle. Whether you're in the market for business wear, casual wear, accessories, or a classic statement piece, Apostle is your go-to partner. Their products are designed to exceed your expectations for quality, and our business model ensures that you can feel proud of your purchase. Contact BJ at apostle.com.au, or for the latest trends and updates, follow them on Instagram at apostleco, hashtag apostle. Ronnie, we've known about the endeavours of BJ and his wife and the family really getting into this one. Uh, into the business over the last few years, of course, sort of towards the end of BJ's Chargers career. He really started working on that one there, of course, had players modelling for yeah. him, really growing the brand and um, has become a real premium local brand as far as um, designer um, whereas has been. And, of course, not in the high echelon range as far as price ever, very reasonably affordable, especially for the quality you're getting as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think BJ's done a great job of building that business up and you know certainly also too he's um you know he he works in the disability industry like me as well too and, and runs his own kind of service um within the ndis there so really good to see bj you know contributing to the community in all aspects of of the guy of, of the um of the profession and no uh i would encourage everyone to really support his brand as uh, fletcher rose gets that one to go and, of course, probably a tactic for Anthony Stewart as well. A lot of these players in his Hobart side for State League this weekend not wanting to get too many minutes into um, Ollie Angerstein there, Ronnie. Stratzma down the lane. Sorry to interrupt. Like a steamship. Threads that one over the top margin at 13. As uh, Ronnie continues to mung away on the jockeys. Well, I can't say much. I had to uh, mung away on the... Um, this is just post-game recovery, I'm telling you. Post-game recovery. I had to mung away, to be fair, on the uh, shapes as I came in this, um, this evening. Get some dinner in as we updated scores. Collins couldn't get that to go. Margin at 13 again. Stewart had a slight haircut trim. Nothing impressive, nonetheless. Still got the mop. Of course, the girls out in support as well. The Aarons and Murray over the side. There. Ooh, Jordy Stratzmo is very happy with his own efforts. Margin at 16. 23 to 7. It's Bruton. Geez, that chocolate smells good, Ronnie. Oh, I'm going to have to stop in and get some on the way home, I think. Pineapple flavour. Well, I can smell that. Sensational. 
Ball just through. Oh, Stratsma is on fire. Couldn't get that to go. Ferguson, big rebound. Turn around, pass. Griffiths from deep, chooses not to. Step back, step through. Stewart, double hesitation, and he's travelled there. Just sliding the feet a little too excited as Howlett and Angerstein check in, as well as uh, Walker and Carlson giving... Nash and Collins a spell, as is Ferguson and Hargrave. Well, now, now I'll come back to your point about Angerstein and, and um, you know, with Shuey potentially maybe not playing as, as much. Bit of tonight. a common sense approach. It could well be because, um, you know, Ollie's going to be the focal point on Saturday up against Bernie. Bernie going to try and do Ooh. everything in their power to really limit his shot and touches. No doubt Brad Simpson will be scouting as much as he can, preparing for that. Of course, Brad was... Pretty tender, as we saw, yes. Ronnie. Um, of course, the young has the young fella in tow as well. I did encourage the Epsom Salt Bath for poor old Brad. I don't know whether he did. As Bruton, as we do have a conversation here, and that is the offensive foul there by Bruton. Well, drawing the offensive foul as we... It's a charge. Yeah, charge yeah. there. Well drawn there by Bruton, who's been working hard on that. As, as Stewart just yeah. argues the point. Not that we've ever heard that term used no, on a basketball and court. Gonna, and I was going to say, I only had Willie Joseph to uh, contend with uh, in the previous game as well too, but Willie was fantastic. Did, didn't say didn't say too much, only questioned one screen, and that was it. Spruton, hands all over him, so that's two fouls in. As many possessions there for Stewart. That'll bring Davey into the game. And, of course, young Will Davey, Ronnie, actually asking me about how the uh, call has been going, wondering what sort of... Uh, how we've been assessing his play. And I said, no, mate, I said, you've been working hard. I said, you've been earning your minutes and you've been um, playing well and getting rewarded for it. I said, actually been talking. I'd be very impressed to hear that as uh, Bruton is the first. And, and, you know, the, 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 the fortunate thing for me, of course, JB, is I've seen Will train throughout the whole entire year with, with the under-18 program at Hobart Phoenix. You know, he's one of our leaders. He steps up. He works hard. He's done a good job under his, under his father. Now he's getting an opportunity here where, you know, it's his time to shine. So I think for the minutes he's been getting, he's been doing such a great job. The opportunities of more minutes just need to come, and at, at some stage that will. Angus Stein couldn't grab that one there. One or two free throws in the previous possession for Bruton. 8-23 to 23 our scoreline. As Rose squares up for three. Couldn't get that to go. Ronnie's just... Stretching out the hams and the calves here. This is sensational. Oh, I had to do it uh, in one of the timeouts, Joe, baby, because it was <laughs> the body was starting to go. Well, cardiovascular isn't necessarily <laughs> there anymore. As Davey dumped down, Angus Stein fights through contact, gets that to go. 25 to 80, our scoreline now, Ronnie. Yep. Yep, no, we're good. No, we're not. No. Oh. We will, on seven. we will be in a minute, we'll folks. We'll be in a second. Stay with us. <laughs> Walker couldn't get that to go. I didn't spend half hour after work getting that score no, graphic right. No, I know. I, apo I apologise. No, don't need to apologise to me. <laughs> Jesus. Angus Stein up high. Too strong. Couldn't get that to go. Now, Bestwick's cop one in the chops. Hope he's okay. He'd probably be a bit winded, I reckon, there, Joe. Well, no, he looked like he actually copped it in the jaw, Ronnie. So yeah. I'm hoping that nothing too spare. As Walker pops up a three, no good. Nash wanting the ball movement. Margin now, geez, getting towards that 20 points early on in this contest. Mm. Two minutes to go in the first. Very different to the uh, previous game, JB, where they were really shot for shot in, the, you know, in that first half. Stratsma pull up shot, no good. And that'll be an offensive foul there. It's going to be on Ollie. For a double screen push out Ollie there. Can't, Ollie can't believe it. Zengerstein asking the question. And Cooper providing the answer. And I was going to say, that, that's still good <laughs> officiating, though, by, by referee Jordan Cooper. I mean, I had to do a little bit of that as well, too, with some of the lads. You know, again, that two-way communication is so important. And just getting that respect and their understanding plays a huge role in your role as a referee. Absolutely, it does. Nash looking to get space out to the shooter. Does. Nice ball movement. Second side offense. Better look by Utahs. Now they get a second opportunity. Here's where Walker can look to go to work. Does. Pulls up from about 12. Couldn't get that to go. Rebound, Angerstein. Nothing dropping here from Utahs outside of... The occasional, well, essentially wide-open jumper on it. Yeah, no, it's just, it just seems to, there might be a bit of a lid on one at one end of the floor here, JB. Davey, turn around, earning his minutes and earning his points. Nice basket, Will Davey. 27 to 8, margin at 19, a minute to go here. This one threatening to blow out, and Utah's with a lot of work to do. Give back to Collins, thread back to Walker, hesitant, has space, back pocket pass. Bestwick trying to find form from last week, couldn't. Carlson... Rebound, wants to turn, spin inside, uses size to Walker. Three seconds to go, floater in the lane, gets it. Yeah, nice floater by Jordy Walker. We always see him at Swisher working on those. So, hard work paying off for the youngster. 27-10, margin at 17. 
almost 30 points up already here for Swisher. That's a massive quarter. Just a mismatch down low. Thank you very much, says Ollie Angerstein. Now, I wonder if that's going to be some sort of a, a play for, for Hobart Phoenix on the weekend as well too, JB. Just to sit and have oh, it back on. Oh, no. Yeah. And you can just see the frustrations for you, Taz. And Mark Nash imploring yeah. his team to lock in. I mean, I think the big thing, you speak about that play with Ollie, Ronnie. The thing right now that Hobart, oh, sorry, Hobart as well, but certainly yeah. Swisher right now, you can't look to drive and just be knowing you're going to dump. Your defence isn't going to defend your drive. That's you right. need to attack the rim, force the defence to cover you, and then at the last second, look to pass if the option's there. Abs absolutely. So, yeah, I know, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Saturday's matchup against Bernie. You know, because I'll be interested to see what what Bernie has as far as ta their tactics are concerned, but then what's Hobart's counter to that? We'll see how that one unfolds. Five seconds to go. Hargrave from deep. Looks okay. Wasn't. Angerstein. Catch. Tip is good. And at quarter time, it's 31 to 10. Oh, jeez. That is a massive first quarter brought to you by Apostle Co. A massive, massive effort on that one as David Stern, Adam Silver. <laughs> the commission's out, out of the building. <laughs> Oh, of course, mate. <laughs> Gorilla Monsoon was the old... Oh, Mick Foley, all these Mick other Foley, famous yes. commissioners. <laughs> Have sports, a nice day. Sports and <laughs> oh, dear. 31-10 for Apostle Co. This is the first quarter of Utahs versus Swisher, Ronnie. Yeah, no, good first quarter by, by uh, Swisher. They've really come out. I mean, the last time they played them... Um, you know, Swisher didn't have 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 Ollie, and um, I think Ollie's been a bit of a difference maker in this ball game. Though Utah's, I feel like um, they just. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. If it's tonight, if it's what not, I, I don't know. But let's have a look at the stats here for Utah's anyway. Where well, really, not much to really report to you on the uh, on the scorers. I mean, if we if we look at it, we got again. You know, from a D, so 420 from the field as well too, and. Yeah, and Mark Nash won't be happy with that one, dear JB. No, on the other side of things, 10 points to Geordie Stratzma, 6 to Ollie Angerstein, who's having a day. Then you've got 5 from Griffiths, and an even, really an even spread outside of Stratzma, who had that hot hand early. 4 to Ferguson, 4 to Hargrave, and 2 to Will Davies. We look to get on the way here, second term. For Apostle Co, you are tuning in to the Hobart Chargers Summer League here on Chargers TV. Thank you for joining us. Back-to-back -back nights. Of course, if you missed our first game, the Gladiators beating the Titans. Tuesday night Titans. Tuesday night Titans indeed. <laughs> However, the Gladiators just managed to get over the top. It's rare that we broadcast on a Tuesday, JB, by the way, too. Yeah, it has rare, been. Rare. Well, outside, outside, outside of Reserve it. Grand Finals. Yeah, that too. Shot there. Collins, three. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Hargrave. And that's honestly, Ronnie, if there's one big thing for Geordie Hargrave's game, his rebounding ability is sensational. Absolutely. If he can just, you know, find some spark and energy... In this second corner, get his shot oh, going. Oh, thread the needle, Will Davey. Oh, good work. Oh, Ollie. Another big rebound there by Hargrave. Goes up strong and gets that to go. And we know, and we know Geordie Hargrave can just be a monster on the boards as well too, JB. And, you know, honestly, that's just good work by Geordie. Just that workhorse down low. Well, that's the thing. It's now becoming work rate right now here. It's not a matter of necessarily of the uh, Swisher team executing. They're just outworking their opponents as Walker goes up back iron. Couldn't get that to go either. Will Davey couldn't thread the needle that time. Went in optimistically, came out misty optically. Some form of conjunctivitis is walk it down like, get out of here! Way too optimistic there as Collins fires up a flutter and gets that. Massive, massive. 33 12. We may need to grab that now. I oh know, we've got the green. We're back again. Yeah. We'll just confirm that everything's still running live. And that got us to quarter time. That looks okay. Just give it a sec. Grab that new Wi-Fi. Grab the Wi-Fi if I was you, Ronnie. Just leave that. Don't refresh that. Just leave okay. it. Uh, all right. I'll just jump off heads here, folks. Leave that there as we get that sorted. Okay. Yes, we should be okay. We're just making sure our technical is sorted. Okay. So it just seems like, yep, there's a small delay on that one there. That looks okay, actually, Ronnie, by what I'm looking. Technical free throw, miss. And just having a look here. Jordan Walker visibly frustrated. Thirty-three, twenty-three. I think we're right, Ronnie. Certainly looks okay. Upstairs, Angerstein couldn't catch that off the back corner of the backboard. 
So we continue on here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get that out in prep, maybe, but at the moment, I think we're fine, Ronnie. Maybe in the laptop bag. In the back part. Nope. Lift the tab up. Other tab. The big... It's in there. There we go. Thanks for patience there, ladies and gentlemen. We are fine, though. We are just getting prepped in the need that we do need it. But everything looks to be A-OK -okay here. 33-14 as that one is missed. And we just look to update that score there. Oh, it might have just dropped out. We are using the stadium Wi-Fi, JB. Yeah, so. so we are resourcing there, Ronnie. Of course, we are making sure that we have enough Wi-Fi to cover the both weekend. this and the weekend and further broadcasts. As Collins around the world couldn't get that to go. See what it, yeah. Uh, but yeah, loading. everything's so okay there. We should be fine there. Apologies, say, yep. apologies, ladies and gentlemen. We're just making sure we get our tech fine on that. You are up to date. 33-14, our scoreline. Seven minutes to go, second term. As Davey gets that one to fall, and Ronnie just making the most of his pinch-hitting minutes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely he is. I mean, you know, you've got to give, um, give credit to him for really taking his opportunities where he can. And that's what we're talking about, JB. You know, just taking those opportunities where you can get them. Hargrave with another big rebound. Ferguson goes up strong as oh Angerstein comes down on his own opponent, on his own teammate. Oh, now I wonder if Shuey will um, try and pull him out here, JB. Yeah, now I think both players are okay. Ferguson just being careful. Fletcher Rose coming in, Carlson heading out, Griffiths and Moore heading in as well. Everything working fine. We should be okay yeah. there. We'll just double check out. Yeah, we're on the start. Still on the stadium Wi-Fi. Yeah, so we're all yeah. good there. Yeah. No just stress. in just in case, it's it's there for us if we need each other. If we do need, indeed. So jump balls from underneath is ow, oh, Angus. Oh, yes, sir. Wham, bam, jam. Thank you, ma'am. Ollie just getting upstairs for us. Lovely dance. Yeah, no issues there at all. Thirty-seven and bodied. Yeah, Bruton on the got him on the hip. Yeah, body just before the ball, only by a moment. So that'll be the second for Angerstein there. Bruton goes to the line. Substitution there. Ollie will go for that yeah, spell. No, Stewart into the game. Wise move by Anthony Stewart. Yeah, safer than sorry there. Yep, confirm there. Kylie Davy tuning in. Uh, it is working indeed. Of course, no. Dwayne. Oh, good. Of course, no Dwayne tonight. Obviously, Ronnie. And that's something, Kylie. If you've got any more information on that, not sure if it's work related, but of course, Dwayne seemed to have that sore wrist on that stripping attempt yeah. on Friday. So we, maybe just taking precautions. I reckon. Well, I, I don't know, Ronnie, because there was a quite oversized Coles bag he was carrying. He works in the uh, same building I work in, Ronnie. Dan. There we go. And we're, and we're back. We are confirmed back. Jeez, <laughs> Bruton's taken off from the car park. Now, 37-16, our scoreline. Wi-Fi's finished. We won't have to touch that for the rest of the night. No, no, we'll keep it on the Wi-Fi, JB. So thank you for everyone tuning in. Yes, just wanting... Okay, so now it should be... It's old age for him, says Kylie. Old age. Okay, so we should be back there. Yep. Apologies for any delays on that one there. Just old age. Yeah, an oversized Coles shopping bag. Yeah, right. And, uh, yeah, carrying the goods there to the office. So, no, we do hope Dwayne's okay there. Um, man who seems to get fitter and fitter as he gets older and older. So it's something about retirement life. It really, in, within sports, you somehow keep active and you go to the gym and you kind of trim down a little bit as well too. So, you know, you know Dwayne does a good job taking care of his body, that's for sure. Yeah, OK, I'll bring it back to Wirecast now. There we go. There we go. Good. And we won't touch anything else for the rest of the evening, and it will run smoothly. <laughs> Abracadabra. OK. <laughs> Margin is 37-18. Ah, oh, yep. I'll update that score. Walker on. back on the floor, 5.08. I tell you what, Jacob's going to sack us at this point. There was no issues until we turned up. Yeah, it seems to be running fine, to all reports. <laughs> until oh, we I'm, turned up. I'm very keen to watch the first game back. <laughs> yes. For review. Charlie Chaplin style of uh, game as Collins forcing Hargrave there. Margin at 19. Stewart on the drive. Stripped there by Beswick. Of course, Walker back in. Have to double check that one at half time while you give a bit of a spiel, Ronnie. Just to see, he did take a spell there for a moment and looked clearly frustrated. Beswick misses that one there. Hargrave tip out. Bruton caught it up the top. Wanted to shoot the three. Didn't. As Bruton walking through into contact, will go to the line for two. And that one 
is on Stewart, so that'll be his third. Archie just seemed to he seems to find foul trouble throughout this season. I just don't think he's been able to just grasp how to, how this game how the games have been officiated at the moment. He seems to be getting himself caught out here in a few of these games. We'll see how this one goes here. Anthony Stewart just wanting the both wanted at both ends. Bruton gets the first. So neither coach happy and for different reasons running, surprisingly. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know Stewie told me I was terrible when I was running around in the first game, and it's typical Anthony Stewart right there. But uh, both coaches are a little bit frustrated, I guess. I mean, this game is a very different game compared to the... Uh, um, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, compared to the first game where it was a bit more free-flowing, JB, um, fair to say. Yeah, you're not wrong there as Collins goes off, and of course... Has to be careful, does Angus Stein as he goes through there. 37-22, our scoreline. Bruton pulls up from the corner three. Couldn't get that to go. Stewart now with the ball, wants to get on the break. Does, over to Luke Moore, who just couldn't get that one. Bestwick saves it. Just a bigger body there. Oh, that's good There's Bruton on the drive. Tried to work through the trees. Couldn't get that to go. Stewart, isolation drive, wants to go himself. Rides the bump and will go to the line for two. That one will be on Cooper. Sorry, that will be on Walker. And timeout has timeout. been taken. Okay. So 37-22, 3.41 remaining second quarter for Apostle Co. You are tuning in to the Hobart Chargers YouTube channel, Chargers TV, and a rolling coverage of Summer League for 2023. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's, as, I, as I mentioned, it's a little bit of a different game compared to, yeah, JB takes a seat. Um, yeah, no, it's been a little bit of a different game compared to the first game where we um, uh, had a bit more of a flow there with both teams, Titans and, and Gladiators, really getting it out, out, out to each other. I don't know if we've got the stats from the... Um, from the time. Uh, oh, not half time. At half time, I wouldn't mind getting the. Uh, if the boys can bring the iPads over, I'll have a look at the stats at from half, the. At half time. At the first game. Not, not yet, not yet. Hold your horses, lads. Hold your horses. So, um, yeah, no, I'll, be, I'll give everyone a bit more of a spill, but it's good fun. JB reviewing tape here at the moment. So, um, right now, both. Uh, it's more Utahs. Utahs don't seem connected as much. I mean. I think one of the big things that we look at Utahs is their, their shooting, and then when they when they're on song, they're, they're a great team to watch. But when they're not, when those shots are not dropping, it's like how do we how do we find our way back into the game? How do we find our way to just not not get you know so not upset, but kind of not get frustrated with each other? So it's a matter of them trying to work this through, and uh, let's hope they um, can just rally back here. Um, you know. They are missing a few in this team. Obviously, some, some of the other guys are in the, in the other teams as well, too. So, um, yeah. But let's see what the next three minutes and 41 seconds reveal. 37-22. We all good on the thing, Jobo. Yes, we are. I'll get to that after I'll get that after we're done. All right. No, no worries. It's been one of those, it's been one of those nights, I swear. It has. <laughs> Stuart at the line. For for two. Margin at 15. Gets the first. So the benches here are Davey, Moore, Howlett and Ferguson. On the other side, it's Collins and Bruton. One or two from the line for Stewart. Walker deflects that out of bounds. Griffiths to the ball. Hargrave, Ooh. and with the give and go, and it was just a hesitation. Looks yeah, to be mis just yeah. a bit of miscommunication yeah. there from just both not, sides. Just not in sync on that one there, JB. No. So, yeah, unfortunate on that play. Both sides. It's crazy to see a coach up by 16 and unhappy. It's both sides disgruntled. It's um, unbelievable. It's amazing. Fletcher Rose up Whoa. block. Good defence there by the tall timber of Swisher. Utah's wanting to go isolation. Walker does. Threads his way through. Corner. Fletcher Rose. Nice breakdown of the defence there. Geordie Walker results in a nice shot there. Fletcher Rose. Margin at 13 now. 38-25. They lose the handle again as Walker wants to go strong himself. Does. Hesitation. Nice bounce back here. Geordie Walker, who was evidently frustrated earlier in the term here, received a technical and was, well, really in deep conversation with Mark Nash after it, but has bounced back nicely. Margin now at 11. Yeah, that's how you should really, you know, let your basketball do the talking, really get back into it. As Stewart goes in, as 
Angerstein, wham, bam, jam. Thank you, ma'am. Nice work by Ali on the A ball. <laughs> Anthony Stewart again. More, more arguments on the bench. He's, Isaac, just nit, he's nitpicking. He is. Isaac Collins with a nice smile for it. And Alex Bestwick started hitting shots. Oh, no, we're going to see it again, Ronnie. We 2.20 to go in the first half. Well, geez, if they can pick this back within single digits, uh, this is a remarkable second quarter by Utahs. For Apostle Co here, round four of men's action. Of course, we had round two of women's action last night as the Sweaty Bettys, well, going up against Swisher, Ronnie, were um, slaughtered by 57 points. Of course, Utahs eventually uh, settling and getting the win there over Real Fit. 40 to 29, our scoreline here. Margin at 11. 207 remaining. Of course, a lower crowd here for a Tuesday night, as expected. Yes. State League Friday, uh, State League on Saturday. So, for a lot of these participants, giving them enough um, time there is Walker. Clock. And that'll be a good defensive play as well by Utah. So, they are right back in this game. Set the live game? Yep, I believe so. Right. Jeez. Fair call. I was, I was generous to, to Peely. You're always I generous, Ronnie. I gave him one that's chance because he the, slapped the ball. That's the problem, Ronnie. But again, that's the, that's the good player-referee relationship out there. It is, but if <laughs> the referee's giving you three seconds to get the ball back and you shoot it. You I'm, old, I'm old school. We, we let that go. <laughs> yes, well, that's the... I went to the refereeing school, Martin Parker. We could talk to ref could talk about refereeing. <laughs> hello, Ma hello, Marty, if you're watching. Oh, Ooh, Angerstein, great. second opportunity gets that to go. <laughs> Starting to find him on that drive. 42-29, yes. Martin will be too busy driving around on a tractor in a field ploughing potatoes at some point. Mm. Bruton, give to Collins, who gives to Walker, wants to fire up here. Illegal, no, travelling violation. Shuffled, shuffled his feet. Shuffled his feet. And Nashi just going next play here and really trying to get the troops into a straight man. So that's obviously just straight into matchup and can't let anyone open here. Yeah, it's a man management thing as well, Ronnie. There, Jordan Walker, having had a first technical, doesn't want to be tossed out of this no, game. No, I was going to say one more, and he's, well, literally out outside the stadium for the rest of the game. Well, yeah, and the fact that you don't want to remove a... Um, as Angstein tried to go over the top, doesn't matter, points drop. Um, you don't want to remove a primary ball handler out of this team, Ronnie. No, no, the Utah's are very thin on numbers tonight. So, I mean, you've got Bruton trying to do a lot of work down low here. Threads then, to the needle there. Mm -hmm. Collins, 15 feet, nails it. That's his bread and butter. Absolutely. So you just want these other guys to really just make sure they step up here and really try and commit, commit here to the team. As Griffiths wanted to give and go, Angerstein does, sets the screen, rolls. Oh, my goodness, and one opportunity. Ollie Angerstein. And you can just see here, there's Anthony Stewart's just asking his players to cut and move as they need to. I'll reply. Oh, the commissioner's... Yeah, right. 4631, what's the, the commissioner oh, the up com to? The commissioner's just making sure we uh, give, give BJ's, you know, Absolutely. apostle. All thanks to Apostle... Uh, uh, what is it? Apostle Co. Apostle Co. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, no, Didn't no. you read the manifesto before the game, Ron? I, oh, mate, I was out for Frank. Very true. <laughs> 46 31, our scoreline. I'll update that scoreboard, Jobo. Hang on. Margin at two, 30 seconds to go. Half time impending as Bruton steadies. Couldn't get that to go. Rebound there by Stratzma. Just Stewart isolation. Crosses up Bruton. Stratzma now wants to go on the drive. Uses his length over to Griffiths. Alley Oop scores. 48 31. We'll get to the commissioner at half time. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, just replying to him, Jobo. Ten seconds to go. Is Bruton stolen from behind? Griffiths needs to put up a prayer. Does. Not answered. And at half time, the margin is back to 17. That one had cut to as much as nine. Back to 17. And oh, wait a minute, was that Swisher the have the lead there by 17. Numbers are rolling in, of course, here oh, for absolutely. Utah's 31 points oh, on, thanks, mate. on the board there. Leading is Isaac Collins with eight. He's got six rebounds as well. Consistent double-double threat there. Nash with five points, three rebounds. Five and two for Brooklyn Bruton. Five points to Fletcher Rose and then four to Jordan Walker. Two to Bestwick, two to Ruben Carlson. Dan Hartog out of this one, right? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Ollie Angerstein leading away with 14 points and nine rebounds already. Uh, add in a couple of blocks there as well too, JB. Uh, Jordy Strassma with uh, 12 points there and four, four rebounds and shooting the ball at a nice clip, five of seven. I mean, Ollie's seven of ten from the field as well too. That's, just, that's good. Harry, Harry Griffiths with seven. Uh, three, six there at 50%. Then Jordy Hargrave with four. 
Will Ferguson with four wheel day. We were four. And Archie Stewart with the solidarity point. Jack Howlett and Luke Moore yet to uh, yet to score in this game. Joe Bird. Thank you. As we continue on with round four here for Apostle Count, of course, Ronnie, a quick apology owed as well. We didn't have exactly the manifesto that we would have liked last week when covering our men's game. So it was a, oh, yes. was a slight apology there in regards to UDM. Um, our round three live sponsor was Utility Direct... Uh, detection and mapping. Rob Brumby, the driving force behind UDM, a visionary entrepreneur who recognised an unmet need in the market for superior utility mapping services with a dedicated team of 15 Tasmanians. UDM is setting new industry standards, but UDM isn't just about business, it's about family and community. UDM's extended family is deeply connected to the company and they share a passion for supporting local sports. Two of Rod's children currently play for the Grenadiers Basketball Club. Connecting with UDM via email admin at udmgroup.com.au and for Find UDM on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. Let's refine your ability for mapping needs and score some winning solutions there. So again, apologies there to UDM. We did miss that one last week. We did want to cover that one there. Thank you for your support in round three. Of course, Apostle Co, this week's sponsor for our round four broadcasts. Here on Chargers TV, where you are currently watching Swisher defeating Utahs by 17. And two uh, frustrated coaches, all for different reasons, despite the fact one of them leads by 17, right? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 can see, I can see where certainly Stewie is trying to nitpick and really still be coaching this game up 17. I think that's, that's, that's a good thing. I mean, Stewie, you know, Stewie's very, you know, focused on detail. And, uh, you know, he really wants to maximise. Well, Collins makes that one down. Collins maximises on that three, JB. But, yeah, Stewie wants to maximise the most out of his team. You know, for some of these guys, they're fine tuning for, for Saturday because Hobart's ultimate goal is that Tim Lennon shield. Absolutely there. As Archie Stewart couldn't uh, get a hold of that one there, as Anthony Stewart imploring his team. Mark Nash just biding his time, and I think some of the Utah's boys are having a bit of a chuckle because uh, they've been on the uh, wrong end. Oh, nice through there by Walker. Carlson rewards it. Not nice cheapy by Carlson there. That's... Very good, nice good there. By him. Ruben's just getting it done. Isaac Collins in a spot of bother here. He's currently guarding three on one. Now stuck with Strats, but that's fine for him. Shout out to the boys on Stats. Of course, a big shout out to Jacob, as always, yes, on broadcast. Absolutely. A1 performance tonight. Yes, no, he's done a good job, the young lad. I'll tell you what, with the way we've performed in this one, Ronnie, he's certainly put us out of business uh, already. My word, he can take over the business. Griffiths couldn't get that to go. You realise what you just said on air, right? Yeah, I know. Please, right. please don't take us. He didn't hear, he didn't hear oh, it. It's all right. Oh, he probably would have. As uh, Walker takes contact. Oh, Archie! That was deep. What? That was the badminton court there. Vol that was from uh, Howden itself. Yeah, that was in the middle of the badminton court. Nice basket there. 51-36. Margin at 15. Bruton trying to fight through contact was way too close to the defender. Yes. And you could just hear Mark Nash saying, you know, you guard it up there. Sometimes yeah. you do. As much as it you is to draw the foul... Get that ball out of your hands. Yeah, you just can't force it. You know, you just got to. You got to probably just probably kick that one out. I reckon. A big shout out as well, Ronnie, to Max Davy, who is tuning in with Mum and Max Dad tonight. Max Davy, oh, lovely. Big it's good to see. We Max. Haven't, had, haven't had Max on broadcast for a few no, years. I was going to say, if Max wants to come for special comments, as uh, Stewart takes a bump there, I hope he's okay. As the drive there by Walker couldn't get that to go as. <laughs> He Bruton gets his own rebound. just gets that to Walker, who goes in again and is rewarded. And that's one thing, Ronnie, that we found with Jordan Walker. He is highly emotionally invested in his game, but when he's able to control that emotion and really get that pay, you know, get his game back on track. Oh, Harry just banked that one. As Harry gets that one to go. When he's able to get his game back on track, though, he's able to channel those emotions. He really does have an impact on the scoreboard. Yeah, absolutely he does. You know, like... Um you know, sometimes you want to channel bad energy into good energy. So. Something that he's starting to do. Oh, through yeah. the needle, Isaac Collins. Deserves an assist. Didn't get it. Yeah. Isaac, that point forward. Oh, Stewart with a thread of the needle. Another thread there to Stratzma. Splits through two defenders. Wants to hold that one up. Does. Wants to go on his drive. And that was an offensive foul. And a hook there by Stratzma. Thought he probably got away with a double dribble, actually. But Stewie not happy with anything. No, he's up by 15. Yeah. Very frustrated. Substitutions as Walker and Collins head out. And they've been their best ball movement so far here in this early third term there. So Mark Nash just wanted to give the team a spell. Of course, as we mentioned, low on numbers tonight here at Warren. But thank you for tuning in. 
course, we mentioned there with Max Davey watching. Running. We haven't had Max on any form of comments since he was three years old, so no doubt has improved since. Absolutely, JB. Best we couldn't get that to go. Carlson has wrestled a rebound away there from Angerstein. Nash wants to make him pay, can't do it. Angerstein again fighting for that. Stratzma out over the top to Stewart, trying to draw contact there. Looking to slow it down, threads the pass. Stratzma again. Griffiths above the break. Three. Splash! And just looking to extend things out again. Margin at 18. Mm, absolutely. I've, I've got some breaking news yes, here no, too, JB. I, uh, I want to touch on that as well. Yes, absolutely. Good, a good friend of the program, JB. Yes, absolutely. And Rod Graham. Yes. <laughs> Rod will take that tongue in cheek, of course. 56-38. Yes, and a passionate supporter too. Yes, no. Very passionate he, supporter. He, he, and well deserved. Absolutely. We'll, we'll, if we get a stoppage or a time out here, JB, we'll, we'll give it a plug. Absolutely. Oh, Angus, Angus Dines climbed over everyone for the rat contest. Couldn't oh. get that to go. And Stewie not happy. Good grief. Slight smile. Probably needed some extra spacing. Like Nick Navut and Nathanui. Absolutely. As Rose wants to get inside, that's a big body, and you don't realise it with Angus Stein out there. Wants to thread that pass. Gets it to Griffiths. They needed to get moving. Stratzma above the break. I was meant to be there tonight, by the way. We'll touch on that in a second. All oh, righty, AJB. Stewart above the break three. Gets them to pay as well. And Anthony Stewart can't believe it. It's worse. Oh, He's thrown his hands in the air. Oh, jeez, so Stewie. <laughs> Light, lining up, Stewie. He's just giving it up by 21. <laughs> giving it Christ's sake, then. son. Well, oh, know. there you go. Brutal knocks well, I don't know now. how your maths is, Ronnie, but I'm, I'm looking at 18 there. That was... Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. It was 21. Yeah, you are. It was right, surprisingly. Very good. I'm doing well after refereeing one game. Our maths and English on top tonight, which is a first. Stewart. Oh, why not, Archie? Oh. Couldn't get that to go. Good look, though. It's Nash wanting to hesitate in isolation a little bit. Does. Carlson. Give and go. Bruton a long way out. He's going to want to take the shot here. You can just sense that scoring. Trying to thread the needle. Nearly take an extra step, though, as Nash takes the corner three. Too much backwards and forwards here. I can sense both sides wanting yeah, a break. I'm, I'm Ollie not looking is somewhat I paid off. Say, no, who's calling say time out? Stewie's got a call for it. I don't I know. know about that. <laughs> he not just happy. can't believe not it. not happy with Harry, apparently. They are building out instructions both sides here. Mark Nash just biding his time. wonder whether Nash wants standing timeouts in the vicinity at the moment. We're not zooming in on it, I'm telling you. We are not, as Bruton takes the sub, as does Walker. Jeez. So Walker Collins in for Carlson Bruton. I believe Nash wants a tie. He's just checking something uh, here. Yeah, I reckon he's checking the iPad. Absolutely. Spurgson heads out for a spell. 4.45 remaining. Margin at 16. Couldn't no. get that to go. Collins against Ooh. Angus Stein. Couldn't get that to go. Ronnie, <laughs> needs some pickle juice if anyone's got any, please. <laughs> yeah, we're anyone in the area. Not, not that they've got. <laughs> I reckon they don't have pickle juice. Oh, nice, nice layout by rim, Bestwick. Rim run by Bestwick. They need an inbounder. They get it. It's Griffiths. Nearly doubles, and Griffiths wants a sub, so he must be sore. He's just called for it. Griffiths puts up a floater. Back iron, no good. Angus Stein tips that out as Ooh. Stratzma just... Uh, Ooh, that's a love tap. Yeah, slapping away oh, from the ball and then, there. And then a bit of gamesmanship, and that's more gamesmanship right there from Jordy Stratzma. Not to pick that one up there. Davey coming in. As is Howlett, so Stewart and Griffiths will head out. We'll just keep an eye on Harry here. Yeah, I was going to say, now, It just get... looks cooked, to be honest with you. Yeah, probably just pretty gas, JB. It was an okay afternoon here in Hobart again. Of course, it's warmer on the uh, well, I was going to say, the girls, got, the girls got the blanket out down there in pictures, There's JB. a lot of mixed going on here. You've got <laughs> players that are absolutely beat root red. You've got girls, uh, well, literally, almost all the girls in the crowd have a jacket on. Um, have a hoodie on and or a blanket. Oh! oh! Yes, sir! Ow! Come on down! Wham, bam, jam. Thank you, ma'am. Holly Angerstein with a baptising alley -oop play. That's how you throw a lob. Tell you what, that'll warm things up. Sen and then sensation. Absolutely. Massive basket there. Margin back to 16. Three and a half to go. It's Hargrave. Kicking around here. Of course, just sitting in a zone here, Utah's to try and front and back Angerstein on these entries. And that's a nice thread there. Draws contact and one by Howlett. Oh, easy as you like there. Easy as you like as we go to the timeout. Not a timeout there, Ronnie. No, We're going to free throws. Uh, free throws. Boys are good. Yeah, some of the boys look gassed. They look absolutely cool. You've got one, one semi retired referee bloody nearly cramping up here. <laughs> Continuing to pat yourself on the back, <laughs> I tell you what. 
Yep, that's. <laughs> I'll give him the thumbs up. Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> don't, so don't back him up in his ventures, sir. Come on now. <laughs> Margin now, 64 45. How's our scoreboard looking, Ronnie? Oh, shot. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah. Bruton. Oh, yeah, no, it's there. 45. Collins makes a three there, so change that to 48. Oh, it's the other one. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. 64, 48. Yeah, all right. Bear with us, folks. We are getting there. Yeah. Hargrave. What? Threads down low. Oh! oh what? Wham, that. bam, jam. Thank you, ma'am. Someone check the guide cables on that thing. That's some authority right there, Sheesh. JB. Good Lord. That's just power. Raw power. I'm glad I'm not ref this game. Oh, and he do oh, Bruton. Nice one. Ooh. That's a very nice. That's a big floater. You've got to get a long way up to get that over the top ollie. And eight brings up the half ton. Yes, the half ton there. 50-66. Davey, step back threes. Angerstein <laughs> hits the deck. And now, that's why I call getting a, an Academy Award, no, Jacob. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I <laughs> going to take you a lot for Brooklyn to run through ollie. A lot. Margin at 16, 232. Of course, we yep. do have some lovely news to uh, deliver. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. Do we have a towel? Yeah, I brought the towel. It's just on the other baseline there. As they run yeah. down. Ronnie. Down, down there, Geordie. And why they do that, Ronnie? Well, hello. No, he's not going for the towel. They're playing. Oh, they're playing. Oh. Oh, anyway, back to that. Okay, back to the action. <laughs> Clearly happy with that one there. Thank okay. you for yelling at the referee in Sorry. my ears with all <laughs> 10 people listening. Live, that is. As Walker picks that up, squares out short corner. Nice work there, Geordie Walker, who's really switched on in this second half. Yeah, no, he's come to he's come to life now, JB. Again, sometimes a technical foul can motivate you, um, and certainly that has worked wonders for uh, Geordie Walker. Ball now, catch oh, and Howlett. shoot. How it was contact after the shot. That's fine. Transition now, oh, Bruton nice stripped hands. from behind. No talk though from the Utah team though. No lack of communication. As Davies stripped, he's a little sore. Collins <laughs> rode the contact into Hangerstein. <laughs> a bit of a <laughs> smile from, from both there, I think. Uh, oh, that might dear. be the dirtiest thing Isaac's ever done on a basketball court, uh, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's reminding me of Zach White and BJ Radcliffe's funny exchanges in the first game. Well, there were some nice looks there down by Zach White there. Foul there by... Jeez, by John Hargrove. Cooper's selling the hell out of it. Good grief. Oh, well, you know what? A clear on the block there. Yep. Just emphasising it. Yes. And you I, have, I have had that conversation with Jordan Cooper about, about selling it, though. So I think there should be, yeah. too. Clear yeah. clear instruction from the... Yes. No, no. It was, it was fine. I had, I had similar... Walker in I had similar the ball. It's Bruton now. And <laughs> Bridie McCaffrey having a laugh at that one, oh, too. God, oh God. Genuinely. She needs to put a jacket on. That was quite funny. <laughs> Sorry, JB. 66-54. Davey checking in now. So Hangerstein coming off here for Breba. Yeah, it's why, why, again, wise. Now, my question will be how long can, um, you know, Stewie play him for in, this, in, that late, in the last quarter coming up? I think so. it's going to be margin indicative. Mm. Collins now, back iron, couldn't get that to go. Davey looked good in his minutes. Walker now approaches him. Davey gets that break, wants to go himself. Corner, Griffiths, three. Nice offence, good defence. Second opportunity here on the offensive end. Less than a minute to go. Oh, Collins making Hargrave roll. Baseline. That's nice and that's move. nice there by Geordie Hargrave. That's a nice move. Really good spin move on the baseline. Really just catching Isaac Collins out on the defence Well, there. I think Isaac baited him into doing it, and not Geordie made him pay. That was good move. That was good by Geordie. And that's a uh, sacrificial foul right there. Absolutely, and you can just see Mark Nash belting in instruction. Well, there was no need to reach on that play, I don't think. It was just, you know, really just overplaying that one. Seeing how this one continues to unfold, 32.8. Well, two more plays here, you'd, you'd think, and right now... Swisher just want a really good possession here and just, again, just capitalise on this double-digit lead that they've got. They've played a really good game so far. Um, just, again, patience here on the offensive end. Yeah, 68-54. So a comfortable margin. <laughs> Ruben Castle we're having a smile down there. As Davey cuts in baseline, needs to go up and under. Does. Nice score there, and Will Davey. And it's good patience right there. Yeah, margin back to 16. It's just been execution. Big screen by Carlson. As Bruton to the hoop, nice execution on the transition. Shot needs to go up. 
Stewart will get it away. It won't count. And you can just hear Anthony Stewart having a chat there. Three-quarter time, 70-56. And, Ronnie, we've got some news. Yeah, we do. Um, really fantastic to, uh, to hear that coming through from the uh, Glenorchy Basketball Association. Of course, they've, um, they've taken on board the uh, Stars Basketball Program, which was, uh, to give you a little bit of background, it was first run, in, um, uh, it was first run by Special Olympics, uh, Special Olympics Tasmania. Then, it, then, it, then it, um, uh, some some politics left, right, centre. Then, then it came to a separate individual program, and and now Glenorchy have taken under their wing. I think it's a great job that Glenorchy Basketball Association Association uh, are absolutely open, diverse, uh, inclusive uh, for for everyone. So they awarded life membership uh, to the um, uh, to Mungo Scott. Now Mungo is a, a fantastic guy both on and off the court. A great friend to myself and JB. Loves to have a chat about basketball. Loves to talk NBL. Loves to talk about the charges, of course. And it's it's absolutely fantastic to see him um, be well um, honoured here um, and to and to be given life membership. That is a never an easy task and not something that you would expect as well too. So, um, from my, on behalf of myself and JB, congratulations, Mungo. That is a, a, a absolutely fantastic milestone you have reached. Uh, and it's a wonderful achievement. So we're very proud of you. And, uh, no, that, that is absolutely fantastic. Yes, congratulations there to Mungo Scott. I was going to be at that dinner tonight, but, of course, broadcast duties at were the you, moment. Were, so you I doing hope any, were you doing any MC duties, JB? Uh, uh, no, I was not. I was uh, cordially invited to attend oh, lovely, as um, having been there um, with the team since their start yes. at Swisher when yes. I was still there, so I'm still keeping in touch and tabs with the crew. Uh, fantastic, JB. Three-quarter time, of course, brought to you by Apostle Co. It is round four of the Hobart Chargers Summer League men's. Of course, looking at the stats to three-quarter time, Ronnie Swisher in the lead, as we mentioned, leading the way there. Ollie Angerstein, 18 points, 12 each to Harry Griffiths, Jordy Stratzma, and a single-digit scoring to Hargrave, Stewart, Davey Ferguson, and Howlett. On the other side of things, Leading the way there, Isaac Collins and Brooklyn Bruton. Jordan Walker uh, chipping in as well. So 16 to Collins, 14 to Bruton. Single digits, of course, to Walker, Rose, Nash, Bestwick and Carlson. As Angerstein's going to the line for two. Well, I tell you what, he just bullied his way down there, JB, while you were going for his stats. Why and, not? Uh, Look at his size. I tell you what, Carlson couldn't do anything on really on that play. So, um, you know, Ollie just been doing Ollie things as he knocks down the first. Final quarter here, Warren Stadium. Back-to-back -back nights of the Hobart Chargers Summer League. Jeez. Gets that one to go. Ah, <laughs> oh, where is it? I'm too old for this. I was say, someone's not happy on the broadcast here. Good grief, Jason. 72-56. It's me. It's <laughs> now, for now it's with me. Yes. <laughs> Margin at 16. Give over there. Carlson. Pump fake. Goes another one. Deflected there by Hargrave. Saved by Davey. Over to Angerstein. They've got runners. Hargrave takes the middle of the floor. And that was out of bounds. Fletcher Rose trying to state his case there, Joe. Absolutely, Mark Nash with a uh, slight smile. Margin <laughs> at 16. Mark um, content with a 16-point margin. Stewie as unhappy as, well, certainly not Larry. Probably more David, I'd say. Speaking of David, acting like a Goliath there is Geordie Hargrave. How an opportunity here. Yeah, this game's just ballooned back out again. You know, you, I thought you test done a done a pretty good job of fighting their way back into it, but again, they're just uh, it's just some tired bodies now. So Hargrave, you know, really certain himself in this game as well too. Looks like Will Ferguson's going to check back in. Absolutely, is Hargrave gets out the rattle home. Oh again, no. a big thank you to the team that have helped us out again tonight, Jacob, with an A1 effort solo, getting the broadcast set up, running graphics and camera, and getting enough audio out as well as Brooklyn Bruton lost the handle on that. And then, of course, a shout-out to the boys on Stats who were working overtime as well. Thank yeah. you very much to them. Of course, all the crew that have assisted in that one tonight, just showing exactly what can happen when a team gels. Hargrave threading the needle optimistically. Collins, ball fake, has support. Bruton goes himself. Get out of here, says Davey. Will Davey having a solid performance tonight? Yeah, no, Will, again, Will's been, you know, taking his opportunities with these minutes, JB, and he's done a fantastic job on both ends of the floor. Really good hustle, good energy back, good read and good block. And um, 
Now, who's in Ferguson and uh, who was it? Who else came in then? JB. Did now, you see? I'd, yeah, so it's Ferguson, Howlett, Stewart, Davy, and Angerstein. Then on the other side of the floor, it's Nash, Bruton, that man, Beswick, nails the three, Carlson, and Collins. So we get up the floor again, and Beswick. And you can just oh, see there, yeah. Anthony Stewart sort of explaining, yeah, okay, you didn't get a, but you need to be doing things on the other end of the floor. So it's good to see that they're working through that now. 75, 59, margin at 16. And it's going to be a matter of whether emotions can be kept intact. Bruton stop and pop, shot drops. Walker will be key to get back on the keen to be get back on the floor here for extra ball handling, if they can do it. Lost the handle there, all fighting for a dive by Carlson. And nice drive by Best with Ruben Carlson looking like Marcus Smart earlier in the week running. Yeah, he certainly does. He's really putting his body on the line and really good hustle. This is much better. Angie from Utah's really working their way back into Oh, the, oh Davey! Well The good. lob just wasn't right, I don't think, on that one. No, I like the idea though. Good intent. In fact, it's gonna be funny. Oh, oh <laughs> yes! Well. Good grief! Alex Bestwick from downtown. As Howlett asked the question, he's not going to like the answer. Oh, we're back to nine. And just to be touching back on that one there, Ronnie, with the alley-oop. That's probably the first genuine alley-oop drive and dish that we've seen from this team almost for the entire competition. And it's as simple as Davey looking to actually go to the rim and drawing the defence naturally, not trying to deliberately look for Angus Stein on the pass. Absolutely. If, if you can you know, really suck the D in... You know, that really opens up Ollie to that, to that backdoor alley you play. You know, similar to what, you know, the, the Tigers used to run with, with Gaze and Copeland. So, you know, you know, if you can find a way of, of doing that, as best we get to the four-point play. This margin's back to eight. Eight. We've got a ball game on our hands it's here. It's taken off very quickly. Stewart was nearly back court there. Nash thought he had one. Deflect there. And Stewart is sore on that one with his elbow. Yeah, Stewie, Stewie knows that Archie just rushed at it and there was no need to rush it. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on Archie's arm there. Yeah, he took a hard knock there, JB. Yeah, maybe a mild hyperextension. We'll see on that one there, but I'm no doctor, clearly and thankfully. Margin at eight. Wanted to give and go. Collins has picked that up and shot it. Around the world, no good. Bruton's under there by himself. Get out of here, says Griffiths. Second opportunity is Bruton. Goes in, threads the needle, Nash goes up strong, scores, and we've got a game again. What is going on here, Ronald? Oh, it's Tuesday, Whoa! JB. Collins just over committing there, got Ferguson on the face. I mean, it's, just one, it's just one of those games where I just feel like, well, geez. This is know. the first big, but the thing is, like, we've had ebbs and flows, but this is a genuinely big run here right now from Utah's substitutions. So Stewart goes out, Moore's out, as is Davey and Howlett. Meanwhile, Collins... And Nash, who combined on that last play, they're playing really well. Now, let's see what the chemistry looks like here. Double ball handling here for Utah. So they're going to want to push the pace here. They can sense tired legs, but Ferguson can find the bottom of the net. It's a solid basket. They needed that. Apparently, Max Davey reportedly really excited to get on commentary. So was Jordan Walker, excited to get on the scoreboard. Jordan Walker was trying to get on the commentary in the first game while we were refereeing, and we clearly denied him no. Yes, well, tell you what. We weren't having the broadcast hijacked. Well, we had the sound of silence. Shout out to Marcel Marceau and Charlie Chaplin. Get out of here. We had the effects mic on, Jabba. As good as silence. There's Bruton wanting to get up the floor. Griffiths, margin at six. Kylie Davy saying she's not responsible for Max on the broadcast. Jeez. That is well, that is kind of correct. Yeah, okay. We need to get the school permission slip out though. I was going to say that or contract over. Yes, sir. Uh, um, Order waiver. Well, considering Max plays every sport known to man on the planet, he's probably a gun jet player as well. He's a very active player. Yes, he is a very active young man. Nice drive there, Fletcher Rose. Hop, skip, and a jump to the rim. Margin at four, and there's still six minutes to go. See how this one unfolds. There we go. Drive there, no good. Angus Stein wanted the rebound. Carlson accidentally loses the handle. Bruton wanting to control the pace here. Does. Bestwick. Three. Nearly wedgied, but saved there by Fletcher Rose. Straight into the palms of Geordie Hargrave. 
And they are running the floor as Walker. No, he was okay on that. Zero step, Joby. Zero oh, step. Get, no, move on. Their drive as Bruton wanting to get out of the way. Hargrave tips it. Ferguson, ball. Stratzma, three. That's, and a, that's travel. a travel. Yes, that is a travel. You can't jump into your shot, JB. Where the first one he's catching it is a zero step. I don't want to say anything to get myself in trouble. <laughs> I'm ready to go for the tee here. <laughs> As me and JB debate the rules of the game, um, you test it out with the ball carry shooties. Hang on. That's to the power ball, JB. Do they need my charger? Meanwhile, play continued down the floor. There was a two score, so it's back within two here, folks. It's, uh, it's all happening up in the broadcast booth. Meanwhile, Strassman putting it to the floor now for Griffiths now. Angus Stein down low. And then, oh, that's an off block. No, a blocking foul. Didn't have the position on the drive, so that will mean two free throws here uh, for. Um, that's. Uh, just trying to pick up who that's on. No, side ball. 78-76. Charger in place there for the fellas on stats. You can just hear Stewart talking to Ferguson. To the line goes Stratzma for two. Cooper and no, Rumley no, chatting. I did, they were saying side ball, apparently. But was Geordie in the motion? No, they're not saying. No, so they're calling side ball. Okay, 78-76, 446 remaining. For Apostle Co. here in the fourth quarter. We're <laughs> Mark, tuning into round four. Mark Nash with a raw smile down on the floor there. So He's rotating up and down the bench, Nashy, for his position. It's quite funny. Give and go. Ferguson. So Swisher now just need to be really careful. Too oh, high upstairs. Not the good. idea was there. Bruton's gone way too quickly there. That'll be on Ferguson. They are just barreling to the hoop, both players there. I like, Jeez. I, I like the idea down this end of the floor. They've just got to get that pass right to uh, to Ollie. They really do. Well, um, they're finally doing it the right way, though, Ronnie, as yeah. I mentioned. They're actually looking to attack on the drive. It's when they haven't been looking to attack on the drive. As it gets really quiet in here. It's when they haven't been looking to attack on the drive and just persistent trying to pass that it hasn't worked. That one goes down. Bruton makes the first margin at one. Tie ball. ball game. And we are slowly ticking through. Couldn't make that. Angus Stein just had to clear his uh, way out of there. So 78 apiece. The margin was almost 20 points in this game. We now have a contest. I don't want OT, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> so let's hope one team finds a way to win. Bruton from the car park wanted to get that to go. Six seconds, needs to get a move. Step back shot, that's nah, high. Nah. It's long. I just felt it's like short. He, I felt like he was just trying to rush that one and, or force that one, sorry. Um, I Needed to get Ar through sets of hands. I thought Archie played some really good defence and forced Brooklyn into a tough shot. Yeah, needed to move that ball through sets of hands. Wasn't able to do it. Stewart, couldn't get that to go. Good rebound or good box out there by Fletcher Rose. Bruton now, 3.30 to go. Over the top, Bestwick's just there alone. That's just a breakdown on defense. No coverage whatsoever. Everyone with their hands on heads. Did I just hear Stewie, where were you or something? Well, I think everyone said, where were you? <laughs> the man was on an island by himself. We're about to call him Robinson Caruso. More than likely. Stewart trying to fight through contact there. Ferguson, give out. Hargrave, seven seconds to go. Stewart wants isolation. He's defended tough, though. Give and go. Ferguson catch and shoot. Flatters attack. Carlson saves that one there. Was out of bounds. By Griffith's substitution. So Nash comes back into the game as Bestwick heads out. Went to go into the toilet, but he's ducked out there quickly. So Carlson and Bestwick head out. So he's starting five almost. He's back into this game. Bruton, Rose, Nash, Collins and Walker. Meanwhile, it'll be Ferguson, Hargrave, Angerstein, Stewart and Griffiths. Final three minutes of this one. Utah's now lead by two. Trailed by almost as much as 20. It's Bruton handling the ball here. Wants to go isolation. Does. Gets inside. Kick out. Nash strong on the drive. Goes high over Angerstein. Couldn't get it to go. 
Not a bad idea. Probably just a little too much intent. 2.30 to go. Hargrave pulls up the top. Angstein wants it. He's front and back defensive there. Ferguson down low. Griffith. Stewart's a long way out. Wants to step back. Needs someone to have a shot. Ferguson from the car park. Missed that. Second opportunity here. Rebound by Swisher. Taken away by Walker and was just taken. So that was a hold. Yeah, is that team fouls? Uh, that will be team fouls. Substitution as Hargrave heads out. Stratzman back in. And we're a one-point margin, but a second opportunity here deflected by Nash. Good hands. Now the remaining of this game, 2.15. Griffiths. Stratzma, kick pass. Griffiths again. What are they doing offensively? Not much as Fletcher Rose saves that to Walker. Wants to go himself. Does. Couldn't get that to go. Fights with the rebound. Forces Stratzman to pick up the dribble. Margin at one. Final two minutes to go here. And both teams with all their timeouts. This is going to be a long one, folks. Settle in. Angus Stein was blocked on the initial. Makes the second. Good defense there by Collins. So back to one here. Swisher with the lead. Jeez. Can they make a decision on who's going to win this ball game? Sensational contest. Fletcher Rose open for three. Flick of the wrist is no good. Nash saves that to Bruton. Couldn't get it. Stratzma manages to get the recovery though. Margin at one. Looking to extend this out to a two possession ball game. If not a long possession. Wanting to go inside. Pass was never there but used. <laughs> oh my god. You can't. No, you can't. You can't throw, you can't casually throw over the head like that. They've taken it away again. Utah's breaking down. They've saved that one. Bruton looking to split the defense, taken by Griffiths. Stewart fights with that one. Heads up. And that'll be a push there by Stewart. Substitutions. That was the second of two fouls they could give. So Walker heads out. Rose heads out. So it'll be Carlson and Beswick into this one. Ronnie needing some no-dos to finish this one. Final 50 seconds. Utah's by three. Sorry, trailing by three. Drive. Carlson. Kick out. Collins. Back iron. Rebound by Stratzma. So shots just not falling to close this one for Utah's. They need a stop and a shot to make this interesting. You would think from this point here... Swisher are just going to slow the game down. Bestwick pushing up. Ten seconds to go. Angerstein, they lose the handle. They need to get a layup and they need to score quickly. Bestwick goes up, scores. Margin at one. They need everyone to push up. And they ask for it. They do. No fouls early. Stratzman nearly throws it away. Does throw it away. Collins down low. He loses it. Then there's too much pressure there on the drive. What is going on, Ronald? Well, it's a bit of a comedy of errors. I can see both coaches very frustrated with their teams. I mean, Substitution and Bruton, oh, that may have been his fifth foul, but they're probably going to need a, to someone to check on his scone there. He's just thrown the head back and knocked over the drink bottle. So, 10.7 to go. 83 82. Oh, jeez. Do we have to be. First is missed. Oh, no. We could see a game winner here. Griffiths. He's missed oh, both. Oh, and there's an accidental siren. siren. It's live ball. Oh, no. This is for a game winning scenario, surely. York Park He's best we're going to take it. He's not. Carlson. Collins. Oh, this is for the win. Oh! <laughs> He's nailed it. Yep, and they want the timeout and they get it. That'll be with, that'll be with point six. 
Jeez. Unbelievable. He's nailed that. Let's get a replay. JB wants a replay. He was wide open too. Didn't look like missing. Nails it. Calm as you like, Isaac Collins. That was at point six. Yeah. It, it was definitely point six. Point six. Hey? Close as you can get it. It All was right. definitely point six. And we And we just confirmed with the referee, <laughs> Shabby. Point six we are trying to aim for, which is enough time to take a, to get a shot up. Uh, not in this league, it's not. I don't know anyone that's quick enough to get it. There is no. I'll be honest now. There is no one playing that has 0.6 reaction on a jump shot. It is by rule, but there is no one out there that's going to get a shot up in 0.6. This needs to be a tip dunk for OT. Simple. Would I have to go? Would I have to go to Ollie on this play? So. Well, this is what they're talking about here. Well, I, I, that's what I'm assuming Stewie's drawing up. So. Jeez. We'll see. We'll see what. We'll see what happens. My goodness. Well, what more can you say, hey? I mean, what has been one of the most interesting games, both on the floor and commentary, it has it's been a cracker, JB. So as Nash is saying, keep the hands up by Apostle Co. You've got to be happy here. Now, I never understand why they can't do this, Ronnie. You've just got to be triggered. I'd take point seven. Are they going to accept point seven? Yes. They are accepting point seven. Okay. Point seven to go. It needs to be a tip in or a deflection. Let's see what happens. Just, they know where this ball's going. Everyone in the house knows where this ball's going. It shouldn't go anywhere else. This is exactly what they're going to try and do. They put it up and it's deflected away and that's the game. Utah's rally from almost 20 down. Isaac Collins with point six to go. Nails one of the biggest shots we've seen. As Geordie Hargrave... He's out of here. ...is... Wow. ...out. Well, that's interesting. ...has just stormed out, actually. Jeez, I haven't seen a play do that in yonks. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, final scores, 85-83 for Apostle Co. That's the end, round four. Big pup there to Isaac Collins. Well, the Knights had it all, Ronnie. We've had a player leave. We've had... You've had one. You've had you've had two good two good games. I thought the first game was a really good game to um, to, to play. Uh, sorry, you, you know, to see. Sorry, um, you know we've had a we Utah's have done a great job of fighting back in this ball game and absolutely just stealing this one. Anthony Stewart will not be happy with with, with that at all. Um, Jeez. And I tell you what, I'm con I'm concerned because the majority of that team. Is playing on the weekend, and if you and if they come out like that, I tell you what, JB, we might. I think, yeah, it'd be a different it, ball game. Interesting to say the very least. That'll do us for round four. What a bumper two days of basketball it has been. You Taz with the Isaac Collins game winner. Get out of this one. 85-83 trailed by. Jesus, please don't fall over at the moment, Ronnie. 85-83. Utah's win this one by two. Trail by as much as 20. Big shout out to Jacob setting up the broadcast and getting this done. My man, well a done. A1 effort, well done. Ronnie backing up off the refereeing and we managed to get all our score graphics sorted and underway as well. For Ronnie Riggs and for Jacob and for our boys on Stats, I'm Justin Bryan. Thank you for tuning in to the live stream for this week. Usual times of Monday for our Women's League, Friday for our Men's League next week. You will catch both Ronnie and I this weekend, Beat Has TV for State League. Uh, it, yeah, 11 o'clock, sorry, just to not to stop your run there. We'll be... 11 and quarter past one. We will be yep. on air covering our semi-finals, grand finals from midday on Sunday. It's bye for now.